Hello, this is Professor Zaman. Welcome to Hassan Zaman Educational Video Series. In this video, we will revisit our concepts of power. We have had another video before where we discussed power, and we have covered several circuit solution techniques in the meantime. Those are branch current analysis, mesh current or loop current analysis, and thirdly, nodal analysis. In all these videos, we have solved this same circuit to illustrate the methods. Now we will use the same circuit to find out the power consumption of this circuit. Also, which element is supplying power and which element is consuming power. Title of this video will be Power Revisited. I'm not going to solve the circuit again because we have solved it a few times already and we know the currents in this circuit. This current is 9 ampere. This current is 4 ampere and this current is 5 ampere. So in this video we will just learn about the power supply and power consumption. Let's first look at the voltage drops. So here we have a voltage rise and there is a drop in this direction because current is flowing this way and that will be 4 times 9 36 volt current is flowing this way so here again a drop will be 6 times 4 24 volt and current is flowing downward in this branch so current voltage will be 5 times 12 60 volt okay so now what is the power of this power supply? Let's call this E1, this E2, this R1, R2, and this R3. So power of this power supply will be V times I. We cannot use I square R or, or V square over R formulas because those are only for resistors. This is not a resistor, this is a power supply. We have to use V times I. There is no other formula for it. So V times I, what is V? 96 volt times current is 9 ampere. That will be 864 watt. Now what is the power of this? So the sign is minus plus. Let's find out the power of this voltage source. E2. V times I is 36 volt times 4 ampere current, 144 watt. Power of resistor R1 is V times I is the 36 times 9 we could have found this power loss in resistance r1 using the other formulas that is i square r which is 9 squared times r is 4 Or you could, could have used V square over R, voltage drop is 36, 36 is squared, R is 4 ohm, so any of these three formulas, V times I, I square R or V square over R would give you the same answer. And PR2 similarly can found is V times I, V is 24, I is 4 ampere, and PR3, the power of this resistor is, voltage is 60 volt, current is 5 ampere, 300, what? 
he could have found PR2 and PR3 using the other two formulas, I square R or V square over R. You would have got, gotten the same answer. Now let's look at the power supply and consumption. Only this element is supplying power in this case because current is coming out of the higher voltage side. For all others, current is actually coming out of the lower voltage side. You see here, the negative side come, current is coming out. And here, same here, same here. Even if this is a source, current is going into the higher voltage side and coming out of the lower voltage side. This voltage source is actually consuming power. And similarly here, current is going to the higher voltage side. So this is consuming power. So the total power supply is Eight sixty four watt and power consumption is one forty four plus three twenty four plus ninety six plus three hundred equal to 64 watt. So power supply is equal to power consumption. It has to be true for any electrical circuits. So we have revisited the concept of power in an electrical circuit. The important thing to note here, resistors will always consume power. So that means always current will flow from higher voltage side to lower voltage side. That means there will be a voltage drop in the direction of the current. That is here, here, and here. But for power supplies, it could be either way. If the current comes out of the higher voltage side, it's supplying power. If the current comes out of the lower voltage side, it is consuming power. In this case, this battery is consuming 144 watt of this total supply of 864 watt. So I hope this video was useful to refresh your ideas on power. I encourage you to watch our other videos. Thank you for watching. Bye.